The sport of hockey has a rich tradition right here in the Ocean State, but even true hockey enthusiasts may not realize just how impressive it is. Thankfully, the folks at the Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Fame are doing a great job preserving the great lineage of the game for future generations and beyond. And here now to chat more about it is the Hall of Fame's founding chairman, Vin Samini. Good morning, Vin. Good morning. How are you? I'm great. So nice to see you. I was uh, really happy to read a little bit about the Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Fame recently because as a big sports fan, I'm intrigued by this. But for those out there who are unfamiliar with who you guys are, let's talk about how the whole thing got started. Well, um, I'm a director of the uh, uh, Rhode Island uh, Reg Heritage Society, and we got together back in uh, September of 2016 with um, a group of fellows from... uh, Rhode Island Hockey, which is the local chapter of USA Hockey. And we kind of, uh, we discussed this idea of um, uh, chronicling the history of uh, hockey in Rhode Island and honoring uh, the great players that have come out of here. And, um, you know, we were kind of collectively amazed that nobody had, had, had done this beforehand since our history went way, very, very far back. Because of my involvement with the uh, Providence Reds from when I was a teenager, Um, I always thought that the game of hockey began and ended with the Reds, but we soon learned when we dug in that uh, the game started uh, more than 30 years earlier uh, here in Rhode Island, and the story behind it is just a fascinating story. Uh, And and, and from that point, we realized it was going to take a little while before we had our original, uh, our first uh, inductions. So it took about two years. Yeah, Yeah, you guys have been doing such a great job. And I know, unfortunately, that the 2020 ceremony had to be canceled. And you were hoping for August of this year, but that has had to be canceled as well, that live in-person ceremony. But you've still found a creative way to have the induction, haven't you? Yes, yes. Um, uh, Through our uh, friendships with the the folks at WSBE-TV, we arranged for an hour and a half uh, safely pre-recorded uh, broadcast uh, to be aired uh, this coming August. And we're already in the process of putting those pieces together. It's actually making uh, lemonade out of lemons for us because uh, where we've had two induction ceremonies and they've been fantastic at the Twin River Event Center, uh, we've had 400 to 500 people there. The first year was the uh, who's who of uh, of uh, Rhode Island hockey. We had players coming in from Canada, from as far away as Hawaii with Kurt Bennett, from uh, Keith Carney in Arizona, folks from California. It was an incredible event. We inducted our first 16 inductees at that time. Uh, We had another event in uh, 2019 where another 11 were inducted. And of course, the pandemic hit. So while there might be 400 or 500 people that were there to see these inductions, uh, the lemonade out of all of this is there are going to be thousands of eyeballs on uh, on the inductions for the classes of 2020 and 2021, thanks to these broadcasts that we'll be getting. It's almost as if the major penalty became a minor. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, there are, and, there, and there are some things that we're going to be able to do um, with this um, a pre-recorded event that we couldn't do on stage. Uh, for example, um, David Quinn who's an inductee of the 2021 class, will be giving his acceptance speech from Madison Square Garden. Uh, Garth Snow from 2020 uh, from the Nassau Coliseum, where he was the uh, player and a GM for 12 years. Timmy Army, uh, uh, who's a coach with the Iowa Wild out in the West, and will be doing it from the Des Moines Arena. So we have, we're going to be able to bring the venues and where we are throughout the country uh, to the event. Um, and, uh, you know, we're, we're excited about it. We've even got people like Lou Lamarillo, um, the great um, GM now of the Islanders, and Dave Gaucher, who is the voice of the, uh, uh, the Las Vegas Golden Knights, will be giving uh, congratulatory messages. And I think one of the special things that we'll be doing, since there won't be the pomp and ceremony of having your friends and your family at the event, uh, we're creating virtual custom audiences Uh, for each of the inductees. Uh, We're getting videos so that we can create an audience and they can be part of the event with their uh, friend or family member at the end of their acceptance speeches. So we're, we're, we're excited about it. A lot of work but we're excited about it. Well, a labor of love indeed. And just the fact that these individuals will be able to get the recognition that they so richly deserve, that they will, and of course their families as well, is a a lovely thing uh, that you can still do it. And if people would like to learn more all all about the Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Fame, where can they find you? 
Well, we have a virtual website. It's rihhof.com. It's an acronym for Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Fame. There is so much history there. Then you're a walking encyclopedia of hockey knowledge, my friend. Okay. It's great to chat with you, and we wish you the best with this year's virtual ceremony and moving forward with the Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Fame. Thanks for spending some time with me here this morning. Thanks for having me. You bet. If you guys out there would like to learn more all about the Rhode Island Hockey Hall of Fame, just visit us at roadshow.com.